Um, you know, I, I'm glad you two came over. I, 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 I'm feeling a little better. Listen, Alan. Linda and I are going to go for dinner tonight. We'll invite some nice girl along, and the four of us will go together. No, no, no. I, I don't think so. Come on. You got to get out of the house. I haven't looked at another woman in two years. I'm out of practice. When I was in practice, I was out of practice. Come on, Alan. You've invested your emotions in a losing stock. It was wiped out, dropped off the board. What do you do? You reinvest. Maybe in a more stable stock. Something with long-term growth possibilities. Who are you going to fix me up with? Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Smith? Come on, Alan. Shape up. A pretty girl? Because she'd have to be damn good to do anything for my morale at all. Who can we get for him? You mean you don't even have anybody in mind? We've got several people in mind. What kind do you like? He likes neurotics. I like blondes. Little blondes with long hair and short skirts with big chests and boots and bright and witty and perceptive. Don't set yourself ridiculous standards. Oh, so she must be beautiful with long hair and a big bust. Oh, and a good behind. Something I can sink my teeth into. He was always very fussy. That's right, but look at the result. That's right, you never went out. Oh, Sally Keller is blonde and has a good sized chest. Oh, what's good sized? Oh, I don't know. Like this? She's not the brightest girl in the world. What does she do? Oh, she dances in a cage at the discotheque. Oh, forget it. Come on, you might even be able to get her into bed. In a bed? With my luck, I wouldn't be able to get her into a chair. Mm. Well, with girls that look the way you want them to, don't usually have great minds. I don't know why we're making such a fuss over a little pleasant dinner companionship. I don't even want that. I'm still too attached to Nancy. <laughs> Alan, forget Nancy. She's gone. That's true. She wanted to be free to swing. Come on, honey. Think of someone. I could just picture what she's been up to. Oh, Jeffrey. Take me in your arms. Hold me to think that we two could have met here in this little town like Juarez. You divorcing Celia and me getting rid of what's his name. It is such a pleasure to be made love to by a tall, strong, handsome, blonde haired, blue eyed man. We're divorced two weeks. She's dating a Nazi. Hey, what about Sharon? What about Sharon? I like the name. Sharon Lake. She works for Jack Edelman, the photographer. Mm -hmm. She's his assistant. She's a bright girl mm -hmm. and very cute. Oh. Okay, let's go. Call her. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What are you going to tell her? I'm going to see if she's free for dinner tonight. <laughs> well, don't tell her about the divorce. Maybe you better tell her my wife's dead. <laughs> Leave it to us. Oh, I'm not sure what you go through with this. The old tension is setting in. My stomach is jumping. Sharon Lake, please. Linda Christie. I don't want to hear this. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good. Listen. We are having dinner with a friend tonight. We thought you might like to join us. No, that's nothing. We have the radio on. Um, Alan Felix. You don't know him. He's a friend of Dick's. Attractive. A writer. A widow. A widower. My wife died in a mine shaft explosion. He's a lot of fun. I think you'll like him. Listen, if she doesn't want to, forget it. I don't need this aggravation. Okay. Pick you up in the car. Eight o'clock? A simple dress, sure. Flats are okay. Let her wear heels. What am I, Toulouse Lautrec? Okay. We'll pick you up. Okay. Bye. All set. Oh, I have very mixed feelings. <gasps> what if I'm in bed with this chick and Nancy comes in? Oh! Let's not hope for too much this first night, Alan. <laughs> did, 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 did she say anything about me? She doesn't know you. How could she say anything? You, you, you know, you never said I was a widower. I got you the date. You can tell her the part about your wife's step. Ooh, I'm excited. We'll pick Sharon up because she lives two blocks from us, and then the three of us will pick you up. We'll see you about uh, 10 after 8. I, I can't stay out late, though. I have a business meeting tomorrow morning. If there's anything at all that you want, I mean, if the dishes pile up or you need a bed made. Hello, this is Mr. Christie. I'm leaving the Gramercy number now and proceeding due north to the Murray Hill number. Ooh, let's eat a tavern on the green. It's a perfect night to dine out in Central Park. Oh, wonderful. It's so romantic there. Mm, besides, I think it's going to rain. You be all right? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll be fine. I'll shower. I'll douse my body with canoe. I, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I, I'm excited. Goodbye. I'm better. I'm 
I'm scared. 